You are going to die. And that's a fact. But what if I told you that acknowledging and accepting your own mortality can be the key to unlocking a more meaningful and fulfilling life? In this lecture, we'll explore the concept of mortality awareness and how it can be used to cultivate gratitude, appreciation, and a deeper understanding of what truly matters. Exercise 1. Memento Mori. Remembering Death. Memento Mori. A Latin phrase meaning, remember you must die, serves as a powerful reminder of our mortality. In a world that constantly distracts us with trivial pursuits, reflecting on our inevitable end can ground us. This exercise isn't about morbid obsession, but rather embracing the reality that life is fleeting. By visualizing our mortality, we anchor ourselves in the present moment, imagine looking back at your life, considering the choices you've made. Are they aligned with what truly matters? This clarity can help you prioritize your relationships, passions, and values. Instead of wasting time on petty grievances, Memento Mori encourages us to let go of grudges and focus on meaningful connections. Start your day by contemplating your own mortality. It might seem daunting, but with each reflection, you'll cultivate a profound appreciation for life. This awareness turns every moment into a precious gift, igniting gratitude within us and steering us towards a life filled with purpose and intention. Exercise two, the pre-meditatio malorum pre-meditation of evils. The pre-meditatio malorum, or the pre-meditation of evils, is a stoic exercise that encourages us to visualize the challenges and adversities that may come our way. By mentally preparing for potential hardships, we develop resilience and a clearer perspective on our current situation. Imagine facing loss, betrayal, or failure acknowledging these realities helps us appreciate the good in our lives. This isn't about dwelling on negativity. Instead, it's a proactive approach to life's unpredictability. By confronting the worst case scenarios, we reduce their power over us. When you consider the inevitable struggles, you create a mental framework that allows you to navigate life with greater ease. This practice emphasizes gratitude once you reflect on what could go wrong, the blessings you have become more pronounced. In doing so, you foster a mindset of acceptance and preparedness, enabling you to embrace life's challenges with confidence and grace. Ultimately, the premeditatio malorum empowers you to live fully while remaining grounded in reality. Exercise 3 the practice of negative visualization. The practice of negative visualization is a powerful stoic exercise designed to cultivate gratitude and resilience. Imagine what life would be like without the things you cherish, must your loved ones, your health, or your success. By visualizing the loss of these aspects, we come to appreciate their value in our lives. This isn't a call to dwell in despair, but a technique to enhance our mindfulness. When you consider the worst case scenarios, you realize how precious each moment truly is. This mental exercise teaches us to savor life's joys fully and helps reduce anxiety about potential losses. By confronting the idea of loss, we become better equipped to handle adversities when they arise. In practice, take a few moments daily to reflect on what you might lose. Consider how that would feel and then shift your focus back to gratitude for what you currently have. Negative visualization illuminates the transience of life, enabling us to live more fully and appreciate every moment we have. Exercise 4 the Gratitude Journal of a Stoic. The Gratitude Journal of a Stoic is a powerful tool for cultivating appreciation in daily life. This exercise invites you to write down three things you are grateful for each day. This simple yet profound act helps shift your focus from what you lack to what you have. When you commit to this practice, you gain insight into the abundance that surrounds you. On days when challenges arise, revisiting your journal can provide a sense of grounding and perspective. 
reminding you of the positive aspects of your life. It's essential to delve deeper than surface level gratitude. Reflect on why you are grateful for each entry. Consider how these blessings impact your life and contribute to who you are. Over time, this exercise nurtures a resilient mindset, allowing you to recognize and appreciate life's fleeting moments. As you acknowledge the goodness in your life, you cultivate an attitude of appreciation that permeates your existence. Ultimately, the Gratitude Journal transforms your perspective, deepening your connection to both yourself and the world. Conclusion Cultivating Gratitude Through Mortality Awareness As we conclude our exploration of mortality awareness, it's essential to understand how this practice can transform our lives. Acknowledging that life is finite allows us to focus on what truly matters. By engaging in exercises like memento mori, negative visualization, and keeping a gratitude journal, we learn to appreciate the present moment. This journey into the realm of mortality doesn't lead us to despair. Rather, it opens our eyes to the beauty and fragility of life. Each moment becomes precious, each relationship more significant. The awareness of our mortality can foster a deeper sense of gratitude, encouraging us to express love and appreciation to those around us. Instead of letting fear dictate our lives, we harness it to live more authentically. By embracing this perspective, we can break free from trivial concerns and live with intention. Ultimately, cultivating gratitude through an awareness of our mortality is the key to unlocking a fulfilling, purposeful existence. So let us carry this wisdom forward, cherishing every fleeting moment.